Hello, this is Mighty Owl. What an incredible view from up here. And if you look down, oh no. I hope you're not afraid of heights. I myself can sometimes suffer from acrophobia. Just look at all the different parts of our planet. From the deepest canyons to the highest mountains, our Earth is full of spectacular landforms. A landform is a feature of the ground of Earth. Landforms can be small, like hills or rivers, or massive, like deserts and mountains. The largest landforms are oceans and continents. Continents are the land parts of our Earth. When you look at a globe or map, the continents are the green parts and the oceans are the blue parts. There are seven continents on Earth. North America, South America, Europe, Asia, Australia, Africa, and Antarctica. Scientists believe that long ago, these seven continents were actually one giant landmass. And over millions of years, they broke apart little by little and shifted to where they are located today. There are so many types of landforms to explore, and each one has unique features setting it apart from the rest. So join me as we take a tour of some of these fascinating places. Wow! Check out Earth's surface. It's made up of large pieces of land called tectonic plates. Tectonic plates lie below the continents and oceans. Uh, these are not plates like you'd find on a dinner table, though, just to be clear. These plates are made of giant slabs of rock on the Earth's crust. And believe it or not, these plates are moving. Now, we don't feel them move because they only move a tiny bit at a time. But over millions of years, even tiny movements can make a big difference. And this takes us to our first landform, mountains. These are mountains, and they have a big impact on the landscape. As one tectonic plate shifts, it can bump into another plate, forcing it upward. And this is how mountains are formed. They have steep sides and are very tall. And mountains really stand out in a landscape. This type of landform can be found on all seven continents on Earth. In fact, there are over a million mountains worldwide. And if there are so many high mountains, then there must be tons of low valleys. A valley is a low area between mountains created by the flowing water of a river. Now, it takes a really long time for a valley to form, thousands or even millions of years. And valleys are narrow when they're first formed, but they get deeper and deeper over time. Just like other landforms, mountains and valleys are constantly changing in small ways. But over many years, those little changes really do add up. Ah, the Grand Canyon. This is quite possibly the most breathtaking landform in the United States. Millions of people travel to Arizona every year to hike through this incredible natural formation. A canyon is like the cousin of a valley. It's much deeper, with steep sides, and is not always found between mountains. Canyons sure are a beautiful sight to see. But let's see what other landforms we can find on our amazing Earth. This is a plateau. It's similar to a mountain, but it doesn't have the pointed top that mountains do. Plateaus are unique because of their flat top, and they're called different names depending on how big they are. And not names like Sally or Frank. Theirs are a bit more scientific. If a plateau is a medium size, it's called a mesa, which means table in Spanish. Well, that makes sense because they sort of look like a table with their flat tops. Well, at least a table for a giant. A small plateau is called a butte, which comes from French. Plateaus can be formed in a few different ways. One is by erosion. Water, wind, or ice cause tiny bits of mountain to break off, creating, over time, the flat tops of the plateau. Other plateaus are made by magma. Magma is hot liquid rock beneath the Earth's surface. Sometimes the magma pushes up on the surface of Earth and pushes up that part of the land. 
and this creates that table-like height on the ground. Again, this happens little by little over a very long time. But it still does eventually cause the terrain of the Earth to change in magnificent ways. And Earth is changing all the time. Tiny changes like bits of rock being carried away by a stream or the plates of land beneath our feet shifting are constantly occurring. By observing the land over time, we see small changes that will eventually create landforms like mighty mountains, valleys, plateaus, and canyons. Do you think you can find any of these landforms in your part of the world?